In this video, I am presenting you a model which has beaten both Grok and GPT-4 Vision when it comes to chatting with your own images or handling your vision tasks. This model is called as Intern VL Chat version 1.5. I have tried installing it locally but it's too big for my GPU. I think you would need multiple GPUs and a cluster for it. But in this video, I'm going to not only share what exactly this model is, but I will also be showing you an online demo and I will drop links in video's description too. So this intern VL 1.5 is an open source multimodal large language model to bridge the capability gap between open source and proprietary commercial models in multimodal understandings. One of the really good thing which I like about this model is that they have introduced three new designs. First one is strong vision encoder. So they have explored a continuous learning strategy for the large scale vision foundation model in turn with 6 billion, boosting its visual understanding capabilities and making it be, it can be transferred and reused in different LLMs. The size of this model is by the way more than 40 gig on disk. They have also divided images into tiles ranging from 1 to 40 of 448 by 448 pixels according to the aspect ratio and resolutions of the input images which supports up to 4K resolution input. The data set is also quite interesting because they have carefully collected a high quality bilingual data set that covers common sense document images and annotated them with English and Chinese question answer pairs, significantly enhancing performance on OCR and Chinese related tasks. And this is one thing that this model is more geared toward Chinese language, but it, it is multilingual. So the architecture is, uh, as I said earlier, it has primarily combined intern with 6 billion with intern LM chat 20 billion. And I already have covered intern LM2 and in turn wait on my channel previously. Parameters are 25.5 billion in total for this model. The training strategy is quite interesting too. In the pre-training stage, they used learnable components like wit and MLP and um, the data set was quite varied and they have given the information about data in more detail on the model card. So in this, um, Intern VL Chat, there are different models too. So there is Intern VL Chat um, Vision 1.5, then they have Vision 1.2, they have Vision 1.1, and all of them support Chinese and strong OCR. Now, for both of the most of these model models in this family, you can even extend the context length. By the way, anyway, so. Enough theory, let me show you a few of the examples from their demo. So if you go to this site, they already have provided this demo. So let's check out a few of the given examples. So let's see, I'm just loading this example on the left. That what, is, what does this image mean? It has loaded it. And now you can simply click on send. Let's wait for it. Takes bit of a time. There you go. Let's try to make it a bit bigger here. Too much better. So it is quite a complex image as you can see, but it has very, very nicely um, it is still printing. Okay. It has okay. I don't know why it has removed the image. Okay, there there you go. So you see it's a very complex image, very uh, some sort of chart with a lot of stuff happening. And if you look here, it is talking about the access, uh, access and then what is happening on that access and all that stuff. Now let's check this Chinese one. Uh, let's click here. You see, if I just take you above. And this one, this is a signboard of some sort of shop. Let's check with it. So describe this image in detail. Let's click here. And even in the free demo, the speed is, I mean, good. There you go. So it says that the, it displays a signboard hanging above a door, which is partially closed. Look at partially closed, which is really good because it is partially closed. So very, very nice. Uh, identify and features a graphic of a chicken. Okay. That I 
don't know where it is yes there is a chicken on the very left hand side if you look at it and then it is printing chinese and all that stuff and it is telling us that the signboard is indicating the business source of establishment so i believe if you are visiting china this model is really good to take with you but i don't know how would you take with you but anyway let's try to chat with about some of the own images let me give it this image and i'm going to ask it to count the kangaroos and birds count the kangaroos and birds in this image let's print it let's see what it does let's wait for it so there are three kangaroos and i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen it said there are three kangaroos and a flock of birds i'm just asking it how many birds are there let's see if it is able to count them nine birds so no or they are way more than nine anyway let's see is there a sun or moon in the background let's see if it is model is able to deduct that exactly there is a sun in the background that is good let me ask give it another image and i'm just going to give it the ocr because it says that it is quite good in uh, the ocr describe the image or i could say the text in the image so let's see should be interesting there are a lot of stuff in this yeah so what is the text okay so it is not giving me the text okay let's see to the ocr of this image can it do the ocr there you go that is good now it is doing the ocr jumps over yep exactly <clears throat> spot on so really i think it is very very good in ocr i agree with that let's try to um, get the location so i'm just giving this location from australian outback what is this location in the image let's say if it is able to detect it's a desert or australia so the red soil is um, yes australian outback that's right because this is typical of australian um, well and it has even gone ahead and uh, told me the uluru i think that is correct i think it is somewhere near that so amazing stuff you can see that this model is really of very high quality very impressed by it unfortunately cannot run it on my local system but still um <clears throat> you can if you have the gpu Go have a run through it and let me know how it goes i hope that you enjoyed it um let if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching